Hi, I'm Mike with Utastic. I'm at Chicago WebConf today, and I'm sitting down with Melissa. Melissa is a professional interviewer, unlike yours truly, <laughs> who is not. As if you've watched any of the videos, you would know that I am not a professional interviewer. But uh, thank you for sitting down. Um, no problem. This is a little different where I kind of want to learn a little <laughs> bit, and I pick your brain a little bit on camera. Uh, so, so you're a professional interviewer. Yes. What does that mean? Uh, it means I have a degree in broadcast journalism. Mm -hmm. I went to Columbia College here in Chicago. Um, and I kind of fell into it. I mm -hmm. started in gaming at uh, Horse and Around TV. It's okay. a show all about handicapping. And um, I started there reporting for them, teaching people how to handicap their horses by interviewing mm -hmm. jockeys, trainers, owners, race goers, professional handicappers. Now, were you into this gaming at all before you? I was. I worked at the oh, track okay. in high okay. school. So. so you did have a little background. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was perfect for me because it oh. was kind of like, you know, when I got into reporting, I didn't, I didn't want to work for the, the news. I mm -hmm. initially did. And then when I went to school, I was like. God, the news is terrible. <laughs> I got to do something fun yeah. and that would keep me interested. And so when I started off in racing, it was it was perfect. Unfortunately, there's not a huge market for the you know horse racing in Illinois. So the show only lasted two seasons. So now I presume that you have to interview a lot of people who aren't used to getting interviewed. If you're engaging yes. jockeys or people who are in the poker world, they might not. They might be very intelligent people, very articulate off camera, but when I get on camera, do they change a bit for you or? Well, a lot of people in poker are just socially awkward in general. <laughs> they don't leave the house, they play online. Yeah. Uh, when they're in the casino, they interact with only men, which is yeah. another thing. Um, and they, they So a lot like a tech conference, unfortunately. Yeah, probably, actually. Yeah. Um, people so are trying to fix that, but. It's, it's tough, yeah. Same as in poker, too. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's. It's hard. It's, it can be like pulling teeth with some people. Mm -hmm. But um, the best way is just what I do while the camera guy is setting up, mm -hmm. or, you know, is just make them feel comfortable. Yeah. Talk to them. Joke with them. If you get someone laughing before an interview, they'll, they'll open up a lot okay. easier. So, so basically that banter yes. before it's very the camera important. I, I feel it's very important because mm -hmm. I don't. I'm like you and you said how you mentioned you don't structure an interview before you go right. into it, you kind of feel where it's going. That's that's how I that's my style too. I, mm -hmm. I, I go in with the knowledge of my subject and the person I'm interviewing, um, and then when I get into it I, I listen to what they say because okay. a lot of times a lot of people don't listen and they jump to another question that they've had in their head mm -hmm. that makes no sense. Yeah. So yeah. which which I, I unfortunately I I had actually just done exactly what you said. I was <laughs> thinking about the next question. And then when you said they're thinking about the next question, I was like, oh no, I can't think about the next question. Um, but, but it's a hard. You can't. Yeah. It's a habit that you're not. I mean, your people are going to do that. I did that too at first. I had a list of questions when I first got into poker. I didn't know everybody, right. you know, and I didn't know anything in horse racing. I knew how to bet the horses, and I knew I was familiar with stuff from being mm -hmm. at the track, but I didn't know a certain jockey or owner, right. you know, I had to look them up and with poker especially, I had to research these people and like, right, how, how much has this person won, what has he done, right. you know, and I can ask them questions. Have you ever had somebody say, like, you don't know me? Like, like they, they, they just <laughs> assumed that they were so well known in their circles that you would just know who they were I it was an awkward moment? I actually, um, the girl I worked with when I first started, someone kind of trained me and some players that I really didn't know that were, you know, big names. Because you know the big names from seeing it right. on the TV and things like that. But there's a lot of, you know, people who make a lot of li livings in poker and, that you don't know. Mm -hmm. And so she pointed out one guy, and it was an Asian guy, and it was totally the wrong guy. She was like, yeah, that's Men the Master. Yeah. Not him. Oh, really? So I interviewed him, and I said his name. He's like, that's not me. And I was like, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was so awkward. It was probably it was so embarrassing. I was oh, like, man. I felt terrible. And then I'm like, oh, my God. I'm not racist. She pointed you out to me and told me that's who you were. And then she was on the side just like, I'm so sorry. Oh, my. <laughs> like, did you do this on purpose? Yeah. This is a joke. <laughs> oh, my. I couldn't imagine no, that. No, yeah. Painful. It was awful. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but for, um, was there anything about being a professional interview that when you came out of school, you're like, oh, it's going to be like this. But then when you actually got out into the field, it was not like that at all. Or was there anything that you majorly learned over the years of interviewing people that was like, like maybe a trademark it's, or a style? Well, it's a lot more laid back, I think, because, mm -hmm. but I think when for broadcasting in school, 
you learn a very new style of reporting. Mm -hmm. um, and what from working, I've only been working in gaming, so maybe I just haven't experienced that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for me, it's a very laid back. What is what is? I mean, I, I can think to the kind of confrontational, unfriendly interviews that you see on news, where it's more like trying to get somebody who's maybe not a willing interviewee to talk, right. whereas you have somebody who's probably more than happy to tell you all about how they just won. Yeah, and I've had um, I've had people that don't want to talk that just lost a tournament or whatnot. <laughs> I've had people that don't um, don't want to do interviews. You know, they just busted. But mm -hmm. I just I don't think, and I'll ignore it. I'll be like, that's fine. I understand. I won't force anyone to do an interview because it's never going to look good. Right. That's the thing. I don't like the way that they do that when they you know charge people. I mean, for just a clip. You know, right. you're not going to get anything from that, and a viewer's not going to get anything from that. Okay. And you're gonna look like a jerk doing it. So someone doesn't want to do it. I I never try and push it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking oh, yeah. the time. No Appreciate problem. It. Thank you. Okay. So that was the second.